Hey guys, hello, hello. Say hello when you come on, let me know you're here. I'm in my shop tonight and I am painting a chair. I'm painting a chair for a client who loved uh, my mermaid chairs. So that's what she ordered. And then she changed her mind after she saw my Marie Antoinette Amour and said, oh my gosh, can you do something besides a mermaid on a chair? I was like, um, I can do whatever you want. I can paint your face on the chair if you want me to. What do you want? And so she has now told me that she wants me to surprise her. <sighs> so how fun is that? So um, this is what I'm doing. I started out, I just got off of Dixie Bell's page. I don't know if anyone was over there. But I'm out in my garage, and this is what the fabric looked like right here, this. So um, it's a great chair. It's an amazing chair. It's got really good bones. It's nice and stout to be, you know, princessish. Um, it's pretty, pretty stout. So I couldn't pass it up, but that dark fabric has to go. Hey, Helen and Tammy, hello there. Um, so my goal tonight was to show um, everybody over on Whimsical Wednesday, hi Christine, thank you for hopping over here girl, uh, was to show everybody that you can paint over the dark fabric even if you wanna go light. Because I'm gonna go light, light like this pink that you can see here. Um, so you can do it, but I had to prime it first. So um, that's possible. So I used Dixie Belle Boss in white um, so I did one coat. No, I did two coats of Dixie Belle Boston White right here on the bottom. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Lonnie. And then I am using soft pink, Dixie Belle's uh, soft pink right here. And this is what it looks like. Soft pink. It's a really pretty, pretty baby pink. So I'm going to be doing stripes on the bottom in soft pink and peony, but I'm also doing artwork on the chair. So first I will prime it, paint it, this one's already painted, then I'll draw my design next, then I'll stripe around my design, and then I'll paint my stripes, and then I'll start painting my design. So, Dana, hi sunshine, how are you? Good to see you, I love it when you call me Aunt Tracy, I love that. Um, yay, and then we've got two Danas, look at that, back to back, back to back. Carol, you're so sweet. Thank you for coming over. Hey, Miss Sue, hello Kim. Okay, so that's that. You do not need to prime furniture fabric. You don't need to prime, oh, look what I'm doing to my wall. You don't need to prime the fabric, y'all, if you're gonna go dark. So if that fabric, had I decided I wanted to go, you know, with like a dark turquoise or a black or a gray or purple, you know, anything like that, or rust or terracotta color, I wouldn't have had to prime it. I only primed because, oh, thanks, Leanne. I only primed it because it had such a uh, dark, dark color on it and I knew I was going light. So this is one coat instead of two. It's not all the way dry, but I'm still gonna break it down with my little finishing pad. This is on Dixie Belle page as well. Um, I put my link on there. If you decide you wanna try this yourself, you can, uh, you can order these products. So I just run that over it. It just makes it a little bit softer. And uh, it looks like I'm gonna block okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting on the pink paint. And I'm not using water. Um, I know some people are like, oh, I think on the other page someone was saying, well, to do outdoor cushions, I do one part paint to three parts water. Well, that's not what I'm doing here. So that's dyeing your, your fabric. That's literally making a dye. If you're using three parts water to one part paint, and then you have to do multiple coats, you're, you're dyeing it, you're getting into the fabric with the dye. And I'm not doing that here. Uh, this is a feature chair that is gonna have artwork on it and um, I want it fully covered, I'm not dyeing it. Yeah, it's gonna feel different. No, it's not gonna be crunchy and no, it isn't gonna crack when someone sits on it. Um, we're gonna make sure of that because we're gonna break that surface seal in between every single coat that we do. Even when I do my final artwork, I will still uh, break that seal of my final artwork. Even the thing's little face and eyelashes and lips and nose, I'll still make sure that the seal's broken. So the chair itself is gonna be um, a different color. When I say that, I mean the wood is gonna be a different color. Um, so I'm trying to not get too much on the wood, but 
Now, you can use water. Someone did ask, can you use water? Hey, Mary Jo from Fort Myers. Um, here is my water. This is just straight water. Just spritzing it a little bit, and it will it will keep the paint a keep the paint a little bit thinner. Um, moves it around a little bit easier. So I could spray it all over if I wanted. Just kind of reactivate it. But I don't, I'm not doing, this is not the water paint process. That's not what I'm doing here. Okay, this is just covering it really well. And basically I'm making like a canvas. It's gonna feel like a canvas. It's gonna feel just like a painting canvas. You know what else I say, guys? I always say that it feels like those uh, outdoor cushions. It feels like that umbrella fabric. Isn't that what that's called? That's what it feels like to me. So really, I only needed one coat of boss. So the front has two coats of boss, which is probably better um, since that's the side of, you know, it's going to get set on. I don't know how much she actually plans on using this chair. My, my leather chair in my office is painted, um, and it's held up really, really well, and it feels amazing. And I was telling them over there, I actually prefer to paint leather than I do to paint fabric. But this is a good option. It's a good option if you want a fun feature piece. It's a good option if you want a different look and you can't afford, you know, you don't have it in your budget right now to do. Upholstery is expensive. And if you don't see, I thinned my paint out. Do y'all see that up there? I thinned it out up there and with the water and it just showed through. So I'm gonna put that up there. <clears throat> All right. So let's see if I have some questions here. Really excited to watch you transform it. I know, it already looks so completely different, doesn't it? It's amazing, that's why I love paint, that's why I'm addicted to paint. It's constant, the need for constant change. <laughs> it's me being ADD and I didn't even know I was ADD. Like, it, it's, it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying to me to be able to make things beautiful like that fast with paint. I just love it. Uh, the black with that pink looks really pretty. You know what, Melissa? Thank you. But you know what? It's actually not black. Any color. It's kind of got like the red in the wood. It's not black. But I'm, uh, I may paint it black. I probably will paint it black. Uh, what do you paint leather with and will it cover scratches? So Karen, I paint, I painted uh, leather headboards and footboards and chairs, multiple. If you go to my website, asking me to put myself on a TV. <laughs> if you go to my website, this is not hard. It's super easy and it's actually really such a good search engine. Go to tracysfancy.com. That's it. T-R-A-C-E-Y-S. Just like my name here, Tracy's Fancy. Tracysfancy.com. And that's my website. There will be a search bar. I think it's in the top left corner. Type in what you're looking for. Painted leather. And every painted leather project that I've ever done will come up. You can read about it. You can look at the pictures. It gives clickable links for products. It tells you step by step how to do it. It, give, it links you to YouTube videos where I've done it, and they're embedded in there. So you, it's right there. Everything's in one spot, and then you click it, and it'll take you over to my YouTube, and you can watch it happen. So um, let's see. Well, it covers scratches, and it does. I mean, it won't make the scratches go away. It's not magic. It's not like a liquid band-aid or something, but. It just paints right over it. Painted leather is amazing with, with Dixie Belle paint. Um, a little bit of boss on this. I'm going to spray that down and take some of that off because I think maybe I don't need it. i use my brush. So I'm actually going to, you know what, I haven't broke that down. Let me break this down. So down here, I'm going to break this down. This feels a little rough, so I'm going to take my finishing pad. This is a Dixie Belle finishing pad, and I am going to just rub it over this boss just like that that's it oh man we lost a bunch of people hey guys i'm still here still here you're doing the dive thing you have to really do lots of pushing down with your fingers to get in the little nooks and crannies and i always keep an artist brush like this with me because um the bigger brushes don't don't get down uh around the body of the chair like you need it to Although that did pretty good. So like over here, this side, I don't think you can see it very, very but I push it down like this and I just get in those cracks like that. 
I hope everybody comes back. We lost so many people. I don't know why it booted us. But thanks, you guys, for hanging out until it reconnected. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. I've got my little artist. I just pull it away, pull it away just like that. Just pull it away from the fabric and get inside there. It's not primed in there. That's okay. I'm not going to see it. I'm just doing it because I want to be thorough, just like that. And I'll just keep using a small brush and paint all the way down like that. And because I know that I'm going to the thing I will do is paint the, the piping. All right, so this up here is still kind of tacky. Still, that color is coming through. I'm going to use my small brush. Sometimes the small brushes, just for small areas that keep showing through, if you get a small brush into it, they're just so light and feathery that it covers better. So that looks pretty good. I've got a little area over here. I don't worry about it being perfect yet because I already know that I'm going to stripe it. So 50% of this is already going to be covered with another color. So I just don't worry about making it perfect just yet. That will come, that will come later.